So, how's it going? How's it going? As you guys can see, I've made some changes. Alright, and honestly, I think they look fucking sick. Alright. Before we go any further, though, we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping, alright? That is the official server of the Dragon X Fire Discord server. Well, the official Dragon X Fire Discord server. Blah, 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 blah. Words are hard today. I've been taking orders at my work all day, and it's been... Just blah, 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 blah. All right. That's my official Discord server. Definitely feel free to join both those. Bunch of cool people in there. And I guarantee you will not have... it. I guarantee with either one of them, you're going to find some interesting people in there. You never know. You might form your own crew to come out here and do some crazy shit on the crew. All right. And that there, that's the official, that's my cash app. If you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, that's the link to do so right there. Because a lot of that money is going to go towards upgrades for the stream, like helping the stream get like... New lighting, new games, battle passes, DLCs, blah, 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 and all that. And yes, I have something for you too, Bubby. Get up here. And if you want to know a little bit of blur about this big man right here behind me, this big handsome fella behind me. That would be the big boy himself. So as you see, you know, we got a couple of new events we got to go through. I already went through last night and checked them out and oh What's man. Up? I'm Rick Martinez and I'm here in Hawaii to shoot my next project. High ride. Tell the tale of America. Okay, what are you? Oh. Okay. Okay. I see you, crew. I was able to get those cars, so you know what? I mean, we're, we're going to have to. All right. Tell the tale of America. New challenges unlocked. All right, just give me a quick second. I gotta give him some medicine real quick because he's got a little bit of a he's got a little bit of a tummy problem. Yeah, him do. No, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. That you can have. No more. No more, Bubba. Oh, man. I just tried to get a little bit of a headache, guys. But this one here, we're going to be doing like a bit of a movie shoot kind of deal. So, But we're going to be the lead stunt driver. I'm all for it. So what we're going to do, though, the events, I, the new events I've already done. Except for those main stage legacy events. What we're going to do is we're going to go back through those. Dax. That's a good boy, that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy right there. So what we're going to do though, guys, we're going to go back through these with the normal vehicle they, they give. And then we're going to go back through with one of our own. So let's start off with this first one here. And which I like the fact they picked a little Mini Cooper because Mini Coopers are just cool little cars. They're light, they're nimble. So you know, we're gonna we're gonna go back through and we're gonna give them a little footage. How's that? Hey, can you can you move that camera to the right? No, a little bit more to the right. All right, we're behind schedule, people. Let's move it. Let's move it. Hey, you. You're finally here. Welcome to set. Hey, listen, no time for chit-chat. We're starting to shoot right now. And you're my main driver. You know that, right? Can someone bring the drivers to their cars, please? Thank you. So, basically, you're Terry Jones, the main character. And this first scene puts the viewer right in the middle of your busy, everyday life. I want you to get in your car. I'm going to give you directions as we go. They say you drive like freaking baby driver. That better be true, my friend. Listen, the festival car consultant is on her way. She's going to catch up with us. The craft does not wait. Come on, everyone! We're doing this! This is High Ride, scene one, action! All right, let's get it. All right, my friend, this is our first scene. So let's get one thing straight. Sure, your job here may be driving, but you still need to get into character. I want you to feel the scene, you hear me, champ? And I also got fun Also got these little Mini Coopers as well. Something else you can do. You can actually swap out the engine for like a Hayabusa engine and have an absolute little deep. Remember, your name's Terry Jones. You're a small-time thief, you just robbed a pawn shop, and you've got a bunch of goons on your tail. Get yourself out of this mess and drive like you need it. This is really happening to you. Ooh, you're a finicky boy. That 
lane on the road is called the video lane. That's where we need you to drive to get the best shots. Every time you see one of those, you follow it. Don't think twice. Hi. Come on, you got this. This is your character's everyday life. You're used to that stuff. You know, it's kind of weaving out between traffic, which this Mini Cooper is actually really nice for that. Right there. It's critical for the shot. Oh yeah, this will look great on camera. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. How's it going? Hey there, welcome to my set. Terry, this is our car consultant and mechanic, Miss Akana. Yeah, call me Kai, man. Hi, driver. How have you been since our little vintage garage experience? You did the playlist, right? Yeah, I did it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with y'all. That vintage garage playlist was actually a lot of fun. All right, that shit was fun. Like going to the different areas. Which, you know, I may go back through and clean this up because I could have done better. This mini might just need a little bit of attention. That's not it. But other than that... That's all a little performer. For first scene, we got you an Austin Lee Cooper S. Maneuverable and lovely. This car is such a fun ride. Fun ride before the high ride. Here comes the first big stunt. You're gonna lose these guys with this next move, Terry. I see what you're thinking. Okay, driver. Better gun it if you want to make this work. Nice! With that move, Terry's out of the woods. Just a few more seconds, and it's in the can. Yeah, I'm gonna restart that. I just, I need to take a moment to also get, get familiar with how the car is gonna feel, and then I can go from there. So now we have a general understanding of how the car is gonna act, we can rock this. Such an angry little car, too. This is our first scene, so let's get one thing straight. Sure, your job here may be driving, but you still need to get into character. I want you to feel the scene, you hear me, champ? Remember, your name's Terry Jones. You're a small-time thief, you just robbed a pawn shop, and you got a bunch of goons on your tail. Get yourself out of this mess and drive like you mean it. This is really happening to you. Playing these back in their heyday the when these little minis That's ran and races, to drive to they the were keeping up shots. with Ferraris and corners. Every time you see one of those, you follow it. Don't think twice. Come on, you got this. This is your character's everyday life. You're used to that stuff. Pardon me, coming through. Get on that lane right there. It's critical for the shot. Oh yeah, this will look great on camera. Hey guys, 
Sorry I'm late. How's it going? Hey there, welcome to my set. Terry, this is our car consultant and mechanic, Miss Akana. Yeah, call me Kai, man. Hi, driver. How have you been since our little vintage garage experience? You did the playlist right. Ah, I mean, yeah. Sure, it was a lot of fun, but yeah, I did it. So, for this first scene, we got you an Austin Mini Cooper S. Maneuverable and lovely. This car is such a fun ride. Fun ride before the high ride. Hey, nerd. Here comes the first big stunt. You're gonna lose these guys with this next move, Terry. I see what you're thinking. Okay, driver. Better gun it if you want to make this work. Nice! With that move, Terry's out of the woods. Just a few more seconds, and it's in the can. Oh yeah, that went a lot better. Cut! Looks like we got ourselves a driver, and a freaking hell of an intro. Great start, Terry Jones. Honestly, I think it just needs the suspension tightened up just a little bit. Like, if I was to go back through and try this again to where I can kind of bob and weave it out a little bit better. See what we can do about this. that Three hundred and fifty eight horsepower already. Jesus Christ, out of a car that weighs maybe a thousand pounds. A little over a thousand pounds. That's fucking scary. All right. Oh. 
Oh, I do need to look at something too while I'm thinking about it. R8 V10 Spider. Okay. It's time to head to Europe. A little something for you guys you may not know. TR stands for Testarossa. Testarossa in Italian means redhead. The cylinder heads on the engine of the Testarossa are red. It's nothing like performance based, it's just more cosmetic. that performance look to it. I'll just see what all can be done to it before we go any further with anything. Okay. What's up? I'm Rick Martin.
right, buddy. You've made quite the impression on these first shots, but we're gonna need to confirm it wasn't just a fluke. With this second scene, the plot is thickening. You got scouted by the local kingpin. Goes by the name of Big Johnny. He's got a job for you, and you're not gonna wanna pass on this one, all right? The man asks you to show up at his country house to seal a deal. But first, he wants you to show him what you're worth with a little duel in the dirt. This is our turning point for our protagonist. His future will be decided today. We gotta feel this, you know what I mean? All right, we're going back, everyone. Driver, you get back in Terry's shoes and you make my day. We got you the right set of wheels for the job. I ride. Scene two. We go again. Action. All right, so this one's gonna be a bit of a dirt run. Ooh, Challenger RT. So again, in this scene, things get real for Terry. You're facing Big Johnny's number one guy, Mikey the Maniac. The big boss is putting you to the test, and you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You gotta beat that guy. This is exciting. I know, this is brilliant. I'm going for the long take here, my friend, so I want your focus all the way. The guy in the black car knows how to drive, and I told him to go all out. I want this to feel real, so go for it. You got your own directing style, don't you? Long shots, real feel, real pain, that's how Oscars are won. Okay, Leo. Scorsese here and make that scene look awesome, you gotta use that Dodge right. That's right. This is a Dodge Challenger RT first generation from 1970. This car is a monster among oldies and it ain't afraid of anything. The RT actually stands for road and track, so don't worry, it won't let you down. I do dig the nerdy car stuff, but what matters is it's badass. That's why I picked it. You mean why I picked it? Whatever. Okay, it's sliding way too much for me to re really be doing anything. All right, buddy. You've made quite the impression on these first shots, but we're gonna need to... I just gotta launch it and not let that mercury get away. My bad, dog challenge. My bad, dog party. All righty, so again, in this scene, Things get real for Terry. You're facing Big Johnny's number one guy, Mikey the Maniac. The big boss is putting you to the test, and you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You gotta beat that guy. This is exciting. I know, this is brilliant. I'm going for the long take here, my friend, so I want your focus all the way. The guy in the black car knows how to drive, and I told him to go all out. I want this to feel real, so go for it. You've got your own directing style, don't you? 
Long shots, real feel, real pain. That's how Oscars are won. Okay, Leo. Driver. With that dirty driving modifier, if I hit stuff and break stuff, awesome. I get more money. You gotta use that Dodge right. That's right. This is a Dodge Challenger RT first generation from 1970. This car is a monster among oldies and it ain't afraid of anything. The RT actually stands for road and track, so don't worry, it won't let you down. I do dig the dirty car stuff, but what matters is it's badass. That's why I picked it. You mean why I picked it? Whatever. Watch nah, you can just turn. get the you're fuck on back. Versatile, but you still have to adapt your driving on dirt roads if you don't want to end up in a ditch. The ditch is not an option. of guts between Terry and Mikey the Maniac, and the chance for Terry to reach new heights. Give me everything, and don't be scared of playing dirty. It's a brawl. I let off the gas a little bit, but the car kind of slide. See these massive cameras floating around? These are for extra wide angle. On a Rick Martinez set, you go big or you go home. Blast! everything you read on the internet. Jeez. It also says you're actually from Chattanooga. Really? Come on! Come on, Terry. You're skilled and determined to nail this test. The job is yours for the taking. Seize it. And the nail the coffin. And cut. That was fun. That's what I call a wonder. Mikey the Maniac is gonna be so pissed. Man, that poor challenger. Don't look like a just you know your typical Hollywood movie star. Fancy car, look like I just don't give a damn. A new playlist means new adventures, driver. I did not mean to set a waypoint.
What's up? I hope you can handle it. No, bike. you're good. Because in our next scene, that's all you're gonna get. This is your first job for Big John, and you don't want to What we're doing, okay? hair blocks, is we're actually going through a bit of a game, movie shoot, you, but, but we're the main stunt guy. All over again. I want to feel the stakes, and I want to feel that Terry plays that bike like I play the violin, I, uh, like he plays the violin. That's what the saying, Rick. Well, what's the saying then? Right. Never mind. You get on that bike, driver, and you give me a two-wheeled concerto that'll make Steve McQueen look like a little girl on a tricycle. What do you mean I can't say that? Screw you this. don't bash this it out, Steve ride. McQueen. Scene three. Let's go. We're actually getting two bikes in this one. The Yamaha YZ450F here, and a Ducati Pangas. Which Ducati is a fucking monster bike. We're back at it. So again. This is your first gig for Big Johnny. You just snatched a handful of stones from some cockney bookmakers, all right? Are you? These guys are pissed, and they're coming after you. Yeah, you better get used to it. It'll happen a lot in this movie. East London is in Hawaii. Really? These guys got a business here, and I like the way they talk. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. chasing you with their trucks, so you gotta move fast and use the size of that bike to your advantage. You cannot get caught. You hear me, Terry? These guys aren't here to take you for tea, yeah? We're on the way, Terry. This big boy. Your plan for this escape is to use two different bikes. And now, guys, you'll see me slide the bike like that or slide the car like that, but I'll use the nitro to get the RPMs back up to get going again. Agile one to lose the Brits in the narrow streets, then a fast one to get out of reach for good. Onto the roof and take flight. So, you got a, a sort of a Japanese motocross and a, uh, dang. Okay, Ratchet, you're up. Yeah, looks like you're struggling here. So, driver, you start with a good old Yamaha YZ450F, which will get you through anything. And for us, it's just a little more powerful. I'll tell you more about that one when you get there. Six hydrates from blocks and a compliment. I will text you your compliment. Seven hydrates. And Dax isn't in here right now, Bloss, so I'll give him a hug later.
But guys, I might go back through and redo this one just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Try to be a bit more precise on where I land things. That's what I was doing the other night. What? What? Yeah, I, that's there deliberately. I probably should just turn that off, shouldn't I? No, that's on the... Uh, stream itself here Ta-da! Back. Yep, there they are. You're doing all right. Now remember, you gotta hold on until you get to that second bike, which will get you out of the city. And here we go. You are now riding a Ducati Panigale. You want its speed to be felt on screen, so push it as hard as you can. You're going down the rabbit hole. She's totally right. Yes, Floss. And don't forget to get on the video lane as much as you can. Yeah, I'm going to clean that up a bit. Eh, I'll fix it later. I couldn't move it up. Can't. Yeah. We're back at it. So again, this is your first gig for Big John. You just snatched a handful of stones from some Cockney bookmakers, all right? These guys are pissed, and they're coming after you. Yeah, you better get used to it. It'll happen a lot in this movie. East London is in Hawaii. Really? These guys got a business here, and I like the way they talk. You're only supposed to blow the bloody dolls off. They're chasing you with their trucks, so you gotta move fast and use the size of that bike to your advantage. You cannot get caught. You hear me, Terry? These guys aren't here to take you for tea, yeah? You're on the way, Terry. Yeah, I'm not much of a tea drinker myself. I'm more of a coffee drinker. Only tea I really drink is sweet tea. Don't ever hand me on sweet tea because I'll look at it. Fucking good shit. plan for this 
escape is to use two different bikes. An agile one to lose the Brits in the narrow streets, then a fast one to get out of reach for good. We're gonna clean that up. That didn't feel right. Because then, after we go back through and do this, we're going to go back through with our own vehicles. We're back at it. So again, this is your first gig for Big John. You just snatched a handful of stones from some cocky bookmakers, alright? guys are pissed, and they're coming after you. Yeah, you better get used to it. It'll happen a lot in this movie. East London is in Hawaii. Really? These guys got a business here, and I like the way they talk. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Boom. Anyway, they're chasing you with their trucks, so you gotta move fast and use the size of that bike to your advantage. You cannot get caught. You hear me, Terry? These guys aren't here to take you for tea, yeah? We're on the way, Terry. I put that out too far. Much cleaner. Our plan for this escape is to use two different bikes. An agile one to lose the Brits in the narrow streets, then a fast one to get out of reach for good. Onto the roof, then take flight. And? So, you got a, a sort of a Japanese motocross and a, uh, dang. Okay, Ratchet, you're up. Yeah, looks like you're struggling here. Soul Driver, you start with a good old Yamaha YZ450F, which will get you through anything. Before switching to something more powerful. I'll tell you more about that one when you get there. At this moment, Terry believes he's lost them, but he's wrong. They'll be back. Yep, here they are. You're doing all right. Now remember, you gotta hold on until you get to that second bike, which will get you out of the city. And now for the Ducati. You're now riding a Ducati Panigale. You want its speed to be felt on screen, so push it as hard as you can. You're going down the rabbit hole. She's totally right. And don't forget to get on the video lane as much as you can. The script says that you're jumping off the highway soon. Keep your bike steady and watch your landing. Yeah, you gotta nail that stunt. Nailed it. That's right, love that. It's going to look phenomenal. Critical shot ahead. Don't miss the lane. Oh, shit, is it up here? Lean your bike into the turns and let her rip on the straights. Back on the highway. At this point, Terry knows he's won. Big Joe's going to be very happy. If I was Terry, I'd just take off with a bike and the loot. Things are a little more complex than that, sweetie. Alright, cut! Brilliant acting. I see 
you're as handy with a bike as you are with a car driver. Yeah, Frank. I could have done better on that. I mean, what do y'all think? Did it look all right? All right. All right. But Chad, did that look all right to you guys? Like the writing and everything, the writing sequence, did that look all right? That's only my second time really using the YZ450F. I'm not too familiar with the dirt bike. Yeah. I know, right, the picture Dax is derp. Hold on, we got a dilemma now. We got a dilemma. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But you know, here's the funny thing though about Ducati bikes. Most of them are only two cylinders. Okay. We did that one, that one, that one already. A new playlist just opened up. Keep setting a waypoint instead of, you know, just like fast travel into it.
62, that shouldn't be too hard. Now, this one's going to be a bit different. We're just going to be following some clues and going to a destination. Hey, my driver's back. How's it going, champ? You're doing a great job so far. Don't get cocky. The secret to being a long-lasting celebrity like myself is diligence, modesty, and dedication. Not taking your current success for granted. That's the key, friend. Now get in that beautiful sports car a gifted mechanic has prepared for you. You're paying your friend Keanu a visit up in the hills. We're shooting a sweet Hawaiian ride there, all right? Everything's working out for your character, Terry. New job, new cars, new social status, even met a girl. I want to feel all of that in this scene, all right? This is Terry at his peak. And he's showing off about it. He's like, na, 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 You know what I'm saying? Great. You go and give me that swag. This is High Ride, scene four. Action. As the mirror does that red character seem a bit smug. Back in action, my friend. Except this time, we're going for a chill, feel-good kind of scene that shows Terry's rise and success at this point of the movie. The cameras are rolling, and all you need to do is to follow the scripted instructions and reach the destination, your friend Keanu's house. You've done this before in the Vintage Playlist, remember? You got this. Right now, your character Terry is walking on clouds. He's got that new job, first gigs went great, and he feels like the coolest son of a gun on this island. As we hear, I'm just following clues to get to a certain destination. Johnny got you that amazing new car, and money won't be an issue anymore. A Ferrari 308 GDS? Big Joe's clearly not messing with you. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's one of them Ferraris. Couldn't recall. Man, how come you specialize in car action movies and no jack about cars? I'm all about the art. Terry, now keep driving. What, what the? You call this a cappuccino? I can't believe this. And just like that, he's gone. Looks like coffee takes priority over his passion for the seventh thought. So, it's just the two of us now. Not gonna complain. The man is loud. Yeah.
how you feel about that Ferrari 308 GDS. It was one of my first choices when they asked me to pick cars for this movie. Among Ferraris, this one and the Daytona are my personal What's going on, favorite. WP Merciless? Same designer, different purposes. All right, it's going. Not quite yet. How about yourself? You're all right. Keep going. Cameras, smile. Yeah, right now I'm just kind of having a solo bot session, really. You just got to do everything yourself. Okay, I'm back. Don't worry, guys. I have everything under control. Yeah, right. Sure you do. straight. That's it. Exactly the way I envisioned it. Right now, I'm just doing like a solo vibe session. Just a few more shots. You got destruct, Terry. This is your rise. You're glowing. It's like the kid has finally become a grown man with a big-ass mustache. Pun intended. What? Never mind. Really, I'm just trying to get caught back up in the game. That's it. Sorry, Martinez. You lost your privileges on this one.
Let's go to the next one. Time for something fresh and new. Oh, no, not at a waypoint, god damn it. So this next scene is what I call a breather. Just a nice, fun action scene that's disconnected from the main intrigue. Allows the viewer to cool hey, down mate. before what's coming after. Terry gets to his friend Keanu's place, and the dude's actually just about to go for some off-road fun with a bunch of pals, all right? <laughs> you're not just going to sit sit and watch, are you? Hmm? Your friend has a buggy ready for you, so you, you get your butt in that thing, and you prepare for the race, okay? If you're good enough to work for Big Joe, you can take on a bunch of old country boys, am I right? This is High Frickin' Ride, scene five. Let's rumble! Action! Uh, I really don't know because I don't play online. Like, I don't really play That's with other people. I just kind of do my own thing. We're taking a short break from the main plot to enjoy a good old low stakes action moment. It's like that volleyball scene in Top Gun. Well, I remember that one. You're racing your friends, enjoying the countryside, and goofing around. I want to feel all of that, as well as Terry's driving skills. So beat these guys and make me proud. Yeah, but watch it. That path is gonna be quite the roller coaster with some serious downhill sections and jumps. Speaking of which, race for the jump. Oh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna redo that. That got a little shit. That got a little shitty up in the air. Oh, fuck it, hell. And action. I want to see some dudes having fun. That's the whole point of this scene. We're taking a short break from the main plot to enjoy a good old low stakes action moment. It's like that volleyball scene in Top Gun. Well, I remember that one. Racing your friends, enjoying the countryside and goofing around. I want to feel all of that, as well as Terry's driving skills. So beat these guys and make me proud. Yeah, but watch it. That path is going to be quite the roller coaster with some serious downhill sections and jumps. Speaking of which, race for the jump. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, you know that landing had to hurt. Unbelievable. You're a terminal crazy. That scene's gonna be another killer. Keep your cool, director. The scene ain't over. Right, right, right. The mechanic has a point. Driver, stay in character. These pictures look phenomenal. That vehicle's a beast. Any technical word from our sassy car expert, maybe? You got it. So, driver, as you noticed, we decided to go wild and bold for this scene with the Aerial Nomad buggy. The 
pad will serve two purposes here. First, it should get you through these hills and rivers without too much difficulty. And second, it has that edgy weapon look our director was looking for. Absolutely. I wanted the aesthetics of this scene to be kind of a tribute to those mad post-apocalyptic movies. Through the hotel, because these guys don't give a damn. There's that, motherfuckers! You've reached the beach, the last section of this race. Give me everything. Almost there. Wait for it. One thing I don't like about the Aerial Nomad is it's so light. Which, that white weight serves a double purpose. This thing is stupid quick. But it's kind of really hard to keep it under a lot of control. And I did experiences again. here.
What's up? I'm Rick Martinez. Hey, CC, what's going on? So the TCS being off completely should really kind of help things. Help be able to slide the car, get the more dramatic looking shots for him. Let's go. What on earth is that thing doing there? It should be on the fake road. Jeez. Hey. Okay, this one is, is one of the key scenes, my friend. Where we're going for one of the major action moments of the movie. We built a whole set just for this. We gotta make it look good. And there's more. Come here. You see the production, people are kinda all over me. Something about blowing budgets and, <laughs> you know, messing deadlines, that kind of crap. But hey, what can I say? I'm an overachiever. They should know that by now. We're gonna need to nail the scene in three takes tops. Otherwise, it's gonna get cut, and if it gets cut, I'm pissed, you know. Your driving mastery is needed more than ever. Get on that set, work your magic. This is high ride, D. Are you kidding me? I can't believe, I, I said it's supposed, I can't believe it! Somebody's pissy, aren't we? Oh, I shall be. Here we go. So you know the Y'all give me just a moment. And wait, this shall be. I don't know if I turn this one or not. All right, guys, give me one moment, okay? No, it's... Here, here, here. Get up there. Real. This is our big money shot right now. Three takes, three different stun configurations. Money shot. 
shot right now. Three takes, three different stun configurations. I want you to go bold and try different approaches. Kai got you the best possible car again for the seat, am I right? That's correct. We got you a 67 Shelby GT500, also named Shelby Cobra. A two-door coupe based on the Ford Mustang Fastback. With that car, Terry will be gone in less than a minute. All right, let's focus. Here comes the money shot. your breath. You're going to lap around while we rearrange the props. Take two. How do you feel behind the wheel of this beauty? She's the first model of the Shelby GT500 lineup. It's lines, exemplary road holding, great ah. performance, and the sound. That, I'm not happy with that. Shelby GT500, also named Shelby Cobra, a two-door coupe based on the Ford Mustang Fastback. With that car, Terry will be gone in less than a minute. All right, let's focus. Here comes the money shot. Don't ever use that half rate again. while we rearrange the props. Exemplary road loading, great performance, and the sound of its engine still make people go crazy. Sorry to interrupt, but we're getting back to it. Punch it. I want that car to fly. I want that car to break things. I'm trying to like channel my inner Steve McQueen here, so. Third take. Let's make this happen, people. Come on. Third try. Give it everything. Don't worry about the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can chill out now. Ruining the car isn't part of the deal. I don't care. Man, anything happens to that car and I'll make your life a nightmare. Okay. She ain't playing. That's it. You're going in one last time.
successful heist. Terry's on I don't know what you guys think. So Did that I. look good? Okay, I'll take that car back now. I think I can clean it up and make it look better. Let me go check something. Let me go look at something real quick. I mean, everything looks really good. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell the theme I was trying to go for with this one. I want to go with something like a bit more retro cool, but with a little uh, nod to Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. I basically kind of wanted to take like Eleanor and give Eleanor a bit more attitude and just a bit more muscular because... With this being a muscle car, I wanted to really, like, give it that muscle, just beefy look. So if you look very carefully, subtly throughout the car, there's little tweaks that have been done. And I had to go with that classy ducktail spoiler because it just, it felt right. It just, it fit the look of the car. Kind of the same principle I followed on this one, just kind of accent the lines and just, well, could just kind of accent the body of the car and just bring out just that inner badassness of it. I didn't want to ruin the lines of the car too much by going like too crazy, but I chose that candy apple paint with that black hood to kind of break up the color so you're not just looking at one part of the car, you're looking all over, just like, wait, the hood's a different color. Must be a fiberglass hood, because here's a fun fact. That car is made out of steel. So 
So yeah, that thing gonna be heavy. But when you start taking body panels and replacing them with lighter ones, you're gonna see an astronomical level of difference. And this thing is just obnoxious just because it can be. Now this, this I want to set up kind of like a land speed car. So that's why everything's all slimmed down. Everything's all angular to try to generate as much downforce on the car as possible to keep it stuck to the road. So everything's all tucked in and all slimmed down. It's got a, like a lot of arrow work done to it. This thing isn't meant just for show. It's meant to, you know, get up and move it. I just gotta re-add re the parts to it. But this thing, back on uh, the Crew 2, was one of the fastest cars I had. And now, if you guys are wondering like, what I am keep reaching for, it's this right here. It's actually a little training remote, because Dax now has a training collar on him, because we've been working on some things while we're out walking, and just different things around the, around the house. Which, it has a beep function, a vibrate function, and a shock function, but that's only if he gets really, really aggressive. Which is like in a dangerous situation, so that way I can kind of incapacitate him if I need to. I don't really condone it, but it's like he has, I have, he hasn't given me a reason to use it. Which is good, because him, good boy. Here, 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 here. Here's a hug. Here's a hug. Come here. I scratch his back. But while we're here, though, I mean, I can kind of go over kind of like my thoughts on like my whole mindset with some of these vehicles. Like this here, I kind of wanted to bring the military look of the Hummer, the original H1, and just kind of build up on that. I wanted to kind of do like a... Uh, Like a tuned wagon, almost. In a sense, kind of just like a... Hey, this wagon's been slightly altered a bit. Now this goofy little fucking thing, kind of like minor, like mild Bozuzoku, but with a mix of like tuner car in a sense, with a turbo sticking out of the hood there. It just sheer craziness, just goofiness, is kind of what I poured into this thing. I mean, does it? Do I need to say any more? Do I need to say any more? The bike speaks for itself. Attitude, just pure attitude. No, hey, hey, come here, stay in here. Yeah, stay in here, Bubba. Now this one here, I kind of wanted to go with like a cross between like a. Uh, I kind of drew a bit of inspiration from 
the tuner car culture and the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. And I kind of want to combine the two, almost in a sense. So it's got like a hint of a bit of NASCAR in there, like a bit of a race truck in there, and a bit of like a tuner car. It's a Harley. What more do I need to say? Nope. Uh, let, let's see what others have I done. This one I kind of wanted to almost like German touring car, but in a street form. That's why it's all like lower down, hunched down. It's almost like combining the German touring car aspect with the fact that it's still a street car. Bulged it out so I can get wider tires in there to get more grip on the car. Which honestly, it really looks the part in my opinion. I almost in a sense kind of like I tried to replicate the C6, kind of like I try to replicate the uh, DTM car, which is my original intention. But like a version for the street. I really done anything with this. Okay, now here. This one is a bit... This one's a bit more different because... Basically, it's like I wanted to just modern day muscle and just want to like show, just kind of like accent that kind of feel to it. Have we done much to the demon? Now, this one. All I really did was just change out the rims and give it a little bit of a... I went with kind of like a black powder coat on the rims. Which all in all made the car look really good. And that purple. I just, I can't get over that purple. That plum crazy purple. It looks so good. Now, this one I might redo. We might redo this one together because I wanted to kind of like. Yes, it's a four door sedan, but I wanted to bring out the muscle car aspect of that four door sedan. That's why it's, it's got the wide fender arches, the black uh, hood, the, the, the carbon fiber hood, the wide arches, the low stance, the smoked eye headlights. Just I wanted this thing to just look mean and just. Like it's ready to beat the crap out of somebody. Bentley, big wheels. Now, this one here is... I looked at it and saw race car. C6R. But I was like, what would one look like for the street? That's why you notice it's got the fender arches, it's got the wider fender arches, and it's got the vents on the fenders. Everything's all kind of bulked out and the car is wider and it sits a little bit lower to the ground, that front spoiler. 
and just the rear wing as well. And it's got the arrow train on the back. I really kind of like drew from the C6R. Like I wanted to bring that to like a road car. So that's kind of my thought process here. Can we do much of that? This was kind of like How can I say it? It was kind of like I was looking at different tuner like different tuner evos, like different custom evos. And I want to try to make like my version of one. Okay, now this thing I was kind of looking at like the HKS CT 230R and kind of drew some of the inspiration for that. That's why the, it looks like the headlights are missing and they're in the center, which they, which they are. The big intercooler, the big front air dam, the canards. I wanted this thing to look like it was doing 180 miles an hour sitting still. It's also got the wide fender arches so I can get bigger tires on it to get more grip. It's got all the necessary ducting and cool ducting for to expel heat and get cool air into that engine. Mm. Subtlety. I try to make it look good. Now, as for this, this was kind of like, what would the 2024 Mustang convertible look like if it was done by RTR? That was kind of like what my thought was. So I was like, okay, so let's just kind of play around with it. And this is what I came up with. Yet, you know, the big, large intercooler there. It's got the wide fender arches, you know. The white RTR style fender arches. The grill is tricked out as well. It's got the nest it's got the hood scoop on it. It just it looks the part. Muscle but classy. Just bad boy performance all around. This thing is my personal favorite. Here I was looking at it and I was like, I want to build one for me. Like one that I would drive, like something that just would fit me. So it's got that dark black paint, which is actually metallic by the way. The wheels are actually color matched as well to the rest of the car. Arrow work's been completely redone. The car's been widened out a bit. New hood, took off that rear spoiler, got a ducktail spoiler on there to keep it kind of subtle. But this thing is just mean, just unruly, unhinged. But I will say, this thing looks fucking sick. And I love it. This is like exactly the kind of Mustang I would drive as a person. If I had the money. I was actually looking at this, the, looking at the NSX, and I was like, Super GT. They compete in Super GT, so why not bring that into the Crew Motor Fest? And I found the livery that was actually very, very nicely done, and it looked really good, so I was like, you know what, let's do it. Hmm.
I, this one I was just actually just looking at a bunch of different like tuned RX-7s, so I was like, you know what, Let's, I'm going to try to make my own. Make my own variation of it. And I think it turned out pretty good. This is actually inspired by the Shelby Super Snake. Big, bad, mean, grumpy. And I'll let you know who's boss real quick. Okay, here. This one was more based on like... Kind of a cross between the Fast and the Furious is kind of where I drew a lot of my inspiration for this one. But I didn't want to go like too elaborate. But like something that would have appeared in the Fast and the Furious as a skyline. This was kind of like my thought. Just your typical bad boy cruiser. Now, here. This thing just screams performance. So, I wanted to kind of accent that look with a bit more carbon fiber on there and the tow hook on there. And kind of give it a bit more of a Batmobile look. I didn't really touch this one too much because it's just I gotta get the right idea. Once I can get the right idea, then I can build something out of it. Um. I'll do some of this one. Just I don't like I said. I gotta get the right idea. This car was actually inspired by this thing. I just went batshit crazy. It's a it's an Evo setup for drifting, so I wanted to make it just absolutely batshit crazy. Now, this one I actually went through and I tried to replicate, like, a, I tried to replicate a C6R, like, given the sponsors I had to work with in the crew, too, I mean, in the crew Motorfest, like, say a company entered a C6R, that's kind of, like, what my goal was. Can't go wrong with purple conic sick.
God, I could do something with that. Oh, man, I could make that thing look mean. Kind of like this. I would love to bring that... I would love to get that grow guard for that. That thing would look scary with a grow guard. Now, this one, I kind of went more of, like, monster-sponsored trophy truck. Now, this one, if you see my streams of the crew, too, you'll remember this one. Because this was actually based off a, off a ballistic BJ Baldwin Chevy that he had. Which, by the way, that guy is a fucking lunatic and a hell of a driver. A little tribute to Kim Block. That's kind of like my design philosophy, but like some of the planes I have, like the World War II fighter planes, I brought them back to their original glory of like how they would look in combat. So yeah, when I design a car, it's just, I, I look at it and it's, I gotta get the there. idea. It should be on the fake road. Jeez. Hey. Okay, this one is is one of. Try different approaches. Kai got you the best possible car again for the scene, am I right? That's correct. We got you a 67 Shelby GT500, also named Shelby Cobra. A two-door coupe based on the Ford Mustang Fastback. With that car, Terry will be gone in less than a minute. All right, let's focus. Here comes the money shot. around while we rearrange the props. lineup. It flies. Exemplary road holding. Great performance and the sound of its engine still make people go crazy. Sorry to interrupt, but we're getting back to it. Punch it. I want that car to fly. I want that car to break things. I can do better on that second take. Mm. 
another little interesting tidbit with the Shelby. Did you notice they boss is all tucked into their bumper? So you know the drill. This is our big money shot right now. Three takes, three different stun configurations. I want you to go bold and try different approaches. Kai got you the best possible car again for the scene, am I right? That's correct. We got you a 67 Shelby GT500, also named Shelby Cobra. A two-door coupe based on the Ford Mustang Fastback. With that car, Terry will be gone in less than a minute. Hmm. All right, let's focus. Here comes the money shot. road holding great performance and the sound of its engine still make people go crazy sorry to interrupt oh, yeah, but we're getting back to it punch it i want that car to fly i want that car to break things Going in one last time. Okay, I missed. I thought I did. Like fuck. Terry's on a roll and so that felt I. good. Okay, I'll take that car back now. That run there felt good. Playlist experiences here. Oh, I did it again. God damn it. What's up? I'm Rick.
What I was wanting to do though on that movie line that's around that corner was pitch the car into a drift and just carry it that way, but well. Dax, you're not in trouble, Bubba. No, you're good. Let's go. Terry, 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 you... <laughs> ah, you're here. Fantastic. Listen, I told you earlier that Terry, a.k.a. you, met a girl, right? Her name's Jessie. And in this next part of the film, you two have a date. Listen, the, the, the scene we're about to shoot is all about capturing that light mood right before date night. Okay, you're driving towards the rendezvous point. You're feeling great and in control. It's... Really? Seriously? Yeah, you, you're feeling confident. Tonight's your night. And oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> kind of an important thing. Ah, uh, Jesse's Big Johnny's daughter. I know, right? Harry's a sucker for trouble. <laughs> Get back into character, my friend. You're going for a love ride. Hi, ride. Scene seven. Hey, what do the French say? Saturn. Saturn. All right, so this one here, we're just doing just a little navigation. All right, player, we're going for another chill driving scene. Follow the instructions and reach the rendezvous point. No rush here. It's all about enjoying the ride. Don't worry, I'll guide you. You know what's funny is actually so James Dean had weekend. one of these. It's a warm and quiet evening. You got some nice music on the radio and your date's waiting for you at the drive-in. There's romance in the air and you feel the wind of infinite possibilities on your face. James Dean had one of these and was a race car called Old Bastard. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that's actually how he died was because of that car. What's going on, Blaze? Right now, we're actually doing... It's actually redoing the events from the new... One of the new events for the Crew Motor Fest. Where you're doing kind of like a movie shoot. earlier, James Dean actually had one of these cars with a race version called The Little Bastard, and I remember correctly, that's what killed him. Terry believes that girl Jessie's the one. It doesn't matter that she's Big Joe's daughter. All he has to do is keep a low profile. And even if Big J were to find out, so what? Terry feels confident he could get him to understand. He's his new top dog, after all. Okay, I think I know where this is going.
for this lovely evening, Terry decided to pull out the big guns with a car that says, I'm classy and I know my stuff. That's where this beauty comes in, a Porsche 550 Spider red interior from 1955. Pretty much the same as James Dean's. A true collector's piece. That Jessie's one lucky girl. Too bad her dad's a psycho. You have no idea. Yeah, I don't remember what a Haggerty list one of these for, like, value-wise, but they're a lot. in your driving. Tonight's your night. You guys are gonna watch a movie, get some food. Hmm. Speaking of dinner, I make a killer jambalaya. Hey, Kai, I was wondering if... Uh... Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Denied instantly. Man, that's a beautiful shot. I can definitely feel the love tonight. right before the coffee house. Now this hey, one here though, Blaze, I'm just basically just following signs. Subtle, I'm impressed. Don't miss that next turn on the right. for a nice evening under the stars. And cut! Who said romance is dead? Hey, I'll be in my trailer refocusing. Big scene tomorrow! The big third act. And Blaze, thank you for the hydrate. I just now saw that. He's okay, buddy. No, you're okay. Wait, I just not saw that. I'm sorry, dude. Mm. 
I'm gonna refill my tank, then we're gonna move on to the next one. Oh, by the way, Blaze, you notice anything different about the stream? Yeah, I decided to go back through and uh, clean it up because I decided to make a little bit of a change. Because honestly, I felt it needed it. Hold on a second. This doesn't make any sense. What did I... All right, that's it. You know what? I'm going to make a few last-minute changes to the strip, guys. What? Tell Kai I'm going to need a boat and a plane. Hey, driver, I'll tell you what's what. You and Jesse got caught, and Big J won't have any of it. Long story short, he wants you in a box, and his whole gang is after you, but your friend Keanu thought this through and came up with a three-vehicle escape plan. You're leaving this island with your girl and her dad's money. This is the high point. You got to drive to survive. Everyone, this is High Ride Final Scene. Go, go, go. Boom. Okay. This is it, my friend. We're shooting the final action sequence of the film. The big ride. I need you to be Terry one more time. And I'm aiming for no less than mind-blowing pictures. So I hope you're ready to go above and beyond. Where's my car? Did you try decap? So, too bad for Terry and Jesse. Mikey the Maniac spotted them during their little night out and totally snitched. Total butt water. Long story short, the boss man's losing his shit. All his goons are after you, and your only chance is to stick to Keanu's plan. The three vehicle grand escape, remember? No shame in trying again. I'm going to redo that and clean that up a bit. The car might need some tweaks. Not sure. But don't worry. After we get done with all this, we're doing some drifting, boys and girls. Hey, buddy. I need you to be Terry one more time, and I'm aiming for no less than mind-blowing pictures. So I hope you're ready to go above uh -huh. and Loser. beyond. Where's my car? Can you try decap? So, too bad for Terry and Jesse. Mikey the Maniac spotted them during their little night out and totally snitched. Total butt water. 
Long story short, the boss man's losing his shit. All his goons are after you, and your only chance is to stick to Keanu's plan. The three vehicle and escape, remember? At that ramp, land it. Motherfucker and let her rip. That DCP M31 is fast and allows for some sharp turns. No second thoughts. Sky, you still got pursuers, and they're pressuring you from the right. You won't lose them over the sea. You gotta fly back inland. The only thing is, this plane saw worse than this. The original plane saw worse than this. In performance a director can hope for. This is Terry's final trial. I hope you like this last scene's vehicle lineup, driver. An Aston Martin, a DCP F31, and a Supermarine Spitfire. Spies ain't got nothing on you. And Hamilton's got nothing on me. I got hidden cameras shooting this from all angles. This scene's gonna shake the whole of Planet Hollywood. I can definitely tell it. Some turbulence is to be expected. No, in this scene, the blades are trying to shoot me down. Right there, that's the canyon. This is where you lose them. These guys couldn't keep up with you. Terry and Jesse are cruising into the sunset, free from Big Joe's clutches. I can already envision the sequel. Big J plotting his revenge from the shadows. You don't lose time, do you?
You know, funny thing is about the Spitfire, it is actually the World War II British equivalent of the P-51 Mustang. Light, nimble, fast, and oh man, that thing packed a punch. leave these things there we go what are you doing here filming's over buddy i mean you did a freaking good job I and mean, then now it's time for me I, I, I mean i mean for us to get on the red carpet and bask in the praise you know fame money fancy cocktail parties life right this is it big premiere night tonight press the whole cast is gonna be there i want you by my side all right so go and get ready guy got you a special car this is my moment you cannot be late what yeah, okay, our moment, whatever. Don't you start. Get out of here. <sighs> Got this, Rick. The night. You're the man. Uh, na, 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 na. <laughs> I've been supposed to be a play on my like, Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. Crazy good job on that set. Now come join us downtown. We got you the perfect car to make an entrance. Hang on, what, what is it, Rick? Is my driver on the line? Crazy. Hey, champ, you gotta move. The movie's about to be unveiled. We're already here with the whole cast. You're the only one missing. Get here and get here fast. My triumph can't be complete without my star driver. Rick, I told you, man, you gotta chill out. That motherfucker needs a decap, Jesus. Anyways, where were we? Yes.